hit it before Beyonce? We were talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. He says <laughs> things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. Today, we're diving deep into the VIP zone of hip hop drama. You thought you knew the A lister secrets. Think again, because today we're uncovering a pact so secret, even the Illuminati whispered about it at their annual brunch. The bombshell revelation. 50 Cent claims P. Diddy has clips of every activity carried out by other celebs in his parties, and which Jay-Z and Beyonce attended on numerous occasions. P. Diddy's mannerisms and requests to 50 Cent to take him shopping on one occasion made 50 Cent very wary of Diddy. That's why I won't be going to the puzzle parties. Uh-uh. Hug you from the front and the back at the same time. And now 50 Cent seems to be having a swell time trolling P. Diddy and his associates in light of P. Diddy's recent controversies. Rumors and allegations have swirled, suggesting that Jay-Z not only knew about Diddy's alleged criminal activities, but may have even been involved himself. But what is the basis for these claims? And is there any evidence to support them? To understand the connection between Jay-Z and Diddy, we have to go back to their long-standing friendship. For decades, Jay-Z and Diddy were known to be close friends, often seen together at industry events and publicly praising each other's success. Their bond seemed unbreakable, until Cassie dropped a bombshell lawsuit in November, accusing Diddy of various forms of abuse and manipulation. It was around this time that Jay-Z's behavior towards Diddy began to change. Suddenly, he distanced himself from his longtime friend, leading to speculation about his knowledge of Diddy's alleged crimes. Some even claimed that Jay-Z canceled his annual Rock Nation brunch, an event where Diddy used to be a regular guest, to avoid any uncomfortable conversations or explanations. But what evidence is there to support these allegations? While concrete proof may be lacking, insiders and industry sources have made startling claims about Jay-Z's involvement. One such claim comes from Dame Dash, Jay-Z's former partner and confidant. In interviews, Dash revealed that Jay-Z knew about R. Kelly's actions towards Aaliyah and still went on to collaborate with him, even recording a joint album called The Best of Both Worlds. The implications of this revelation are significant. If Jay-Z was aware of R. Kelly's predatory behavior and still chose to work with him, it raises questions about his moral compass and his willingness to associate with individuals involved in illegal activities. It also adds weight to the allegations that Jay-Z may have been involved in Diddy's alleged criminal enterprise. But Dame Dash's claims are not the only ones. Jaguar Wright, a former industry insider, has also made shocking allegations about Jay-Z. She has gone as far as to suggest that Jay-Z may be even worse than Diddy, describing him as smarter, more patient, and not as sloppy in his actions. According to Wright, Jay-Z has been quietly lining up people he calls friends, only to step aside Side while they face the consequences of their actions. While these claims may seem shocking, they have sparked a renewed interest in Jay-Z's character and his associations. As the feds raided Diddy's homes and gathered evidence, there are rumors that high-profile industry friends, including Jay-Z, could be questioned about their involvement. This has only fueled speculation that 50 Cent's warning to Jay-Z may have more substance than meets the eye. As the investigation into Diddy's alleged criminal operation unfolds, the evidence and investigations surrounding his activities have taken center stage. The recent raids on Diddy's properties by Homeland Security have shed light on the seriousness of the allegations and the extent of the investigations. The raids on Diddy's homes in Miami and LA were not ordinary law enforcement actions. They were conducted by Homeland Security, a highly specialized agency that typically deals with matters of national security. The involvement of Homeland Security in this case speaks volumes about the gravity of the allegations against Diddy. Reports suggest that the raids resulted in the seizure of boxes and bags full of evidence. The nature of this evidence remains undisclosed, but the fact that it warranted such a high-profile operation indicates that the authorities have been meticulously building their case against Diddy for some time. The presence of Homeland Security suggests that the allegations against Diddy may involve more than just the music industry. While it's important to remember that these are allegations and that Diddy is innocent until proven guilty, the scale and intensity of the investigation cannot be ignored. The authorities do not conduct raids of this magnitude without substantial evidence and probable cause it is clear that they have been closely monitoring Diddy's activities and gathering evidence to support the allegations against him. The allegations against Diddy range from money laundering to drug trafficking, but the exact nature of the criminal operation remains undisclosed. The evidence seized during the raids will likely play a crucial role in determining the veracity of these allegations. It is expected that forensic analysis and further investigations will shed more light on the extent of Diddy's alleged criminal activities. And in the light of these raiding of Diddy's home,
Holmes, 50 Cent speaks about its connection to Jay-Z and says, Anybody seen Jay? LOL. Puff said the guy ain't answering his phone. LOL. As the investigation progresses, it is possible that other high-profile industry figures, including Jay-Z, may be questioned about their connections to Diddy and the alleged criminal operation. While there is currently no concrete evidence linking Jay-Z to Diddy's activities, the close friendship and long-standing association between the two have raised suspicions. The allegations against Diddy and the potential involvement of Jay-Z have sent shockwaves through the music industry. The revelations have prompted questions about the true nature of these hip-hop icons and the extent of their involvement in illicit activities. As the evidence is examined and investigations continue, the truth behind these allegations will eventually come to light. With the investigations and allegations surrounding Diddy's alleged criminal operation intensifying, the spotlight has turned towards Jay-Z and the potential implications for him. While there is currently no concrete evidence linking Jay-Z to Diddy's activities, the close friendship and long-standing association between the two have raised eyebrows and fueled speculation. First and foremost, it's important to note that Jay-Z has not been officially implicated or charged with any crimes related to Diddy's alleged criminal operation. However, the mere association with Diddy and the ongoing investigations can have significant repercussions for Jay-Z's reputation and career. One potential consequence is the tarnishing of Jay-Z's image. Throughout his career, Jay-Z has cultivated a persona of success, influence, and integrity. However, if evidence were to emerge linking him to Diddy's alleged criminal activities, it could severely damage his reputation and the public's perception of him. Fans and the industry at large may question his judgment and moral compass, leading to a loss of trust and support. Furthermore, the legal implications cannot be ignored. If Jay-Z were to be implicated in any criminal activities related to Diddy's operation, he could face legal consequences, including potential charges and legal proceedings. This could have far-reaching effects on his personal life, career, and financial standing. In addition to legal implications, Jay-Z may also face backlash from the public and his peers. The music industry is highly sensitive to controversies and scandals, and any association with criminal activities can result in significant damage to an artist's career. Jay-Z's close ties to Diddy and the allegations surrounding their friendship may lead to distancing from other industry figures, loss of collaborations, and potential boycotts. Moreover, Jay-Z's business ventures could be affected. He has built a successful empire beyond music, with investments in various industries, including sports, fashion, and streaming services. If his reputation is tarnished by the allegations surrounding Diddy, it could impact his business partnerships and potential future opportunities. It's important to remember that these are potential consequences and implications, and Jay-Z is innocent until proven guilty. However, the gravity of the allegations and the ongoing investigations cannot be ignored. The public and the industry will closely watch how Jay-Z navigates these challenging circumstances and how he addresses the suspicions surrounding his association with Diddy. Diddy's connection to the Carters. In the fast-paced world of hip-hop, where alliances are often fleeting, there are a few friendships that have stood the test of time. One such bond is the legendary friendship between P. Diddy and Jay-Z. Their connection dates back to the early years of their careers, when they were both hungry for success and eager to make their mark on the music industry. It all began in the vibrant streets of New York City in the late 1980s. P. Diddy, then known as Sean Combs, was a young and ambitious music producer, hustling his way through the industry. Jay-Z, born Sean Carter, was a a talented rapper with a unique style and a hunger for greatness. It was only a matter of time before their paths would cross and a friendship would be forged. Their first encounter took place at a local nightclub, where P. Diddy was hosting a party to showcase his latest talent. Jay-Z, known for his lyrical prowess and captivating stage presence, caught P. Diddy's attention with his electrifying performance. Impressed by Jay-Z's raw talent, P. Diddy approached him after the show, sparking a conversation that would change the course of their lives. As they got to know each other, P. Diddy and Jay-Z discovered a shared passion for music and a relentless drive to succeed, they quickly realized that they were kindred spirits, both determined to leave a lasting impact on the industry. This shared ambition laid the foundation for their friendship as they began collaborating on various projects and supporting each other's endeavors. In the early 1990s, P. Diddy founded his own record label, Bad Boy Entertainment, and Jay-Z became one of his first signees. This partnership proved to be a game-changer for both artists as they worked tirelessly to create groundbreaking music that would resonate with audiences 
audiences worldwide. P. Diddy's production skills combined with Jay-Z's lyrical genius resulted in a string of chart-topping hits that solidified their places in hip-hop history. But their friendship extended beyond the studio. P. Diddy and Jay-Z were often seen together at industry events, supporting each other's performances and celebrating their shared successes. They became each other's confidants, offering guidance and advice in an industry that can be ruthless and unforgiving. As the years went by, P. Diddy and Jay-Z's friendship only grew stronger. They weathered the ups and downs of the music industry together, supporting each other through personal and professional challenges. Their bond became a symbol of loyalty and resilience, inspiring aspiring artists and fans alike. And such was their partnership and friendship so strong that when P. Diddy won a Lifetime Award at the BET in 2022, Jay-Z was the one who recorded a speech in Diddy's honor. Puff was the first one that came through and made us feel like, you know, it was us. It was ghetto fabulous. We took our rightful place at the tables in the boardrooms and the fashion shows and, you know, we arrived. That impact obviously had an effect on all of us and let us carve our own space. Little did they know that their friendship would face its greatest test in the years to come. The recent sex trafficking allegations surrounding P. Diddy have cast a shadow over their once unbreakable bond. As the world waits for answers, Jay-Z's silence on the matter has left many wondering about the future of their friendship. The world of P. Diddy and Jay-Z was turned upside down when shocking allegations of sex trafficking emerged, casting a dark cloud over their friendship. The spot Spotlight shifted from their musical achievements to the disturbing events surrounding P. Diddy's personal life. As the news broke, the public was left in disbelief, struggling to reconcile the image of the charismatic rapper with the allegations that had surfaced. Reports suggested that P. Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami had become the focal points of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. The gravity of the situation was underscored by the involvement of Homeland Security, who executed high-profile raids on both properties. The scenes that unfolded were reminiscent of a Hollywood blockbuster with armed agents swarming the premises, searching for evidence and potential victims. The leaked documents from the investigation sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, as the names of numerous celebrities were mentioned in connection with the alleged sex trafficking ring. While Jay-Z's name was not directly linked to any of the damning allegations, his close friendship with P. Diddy raised eyebrows and fueled speculation about his potential involvement. The fallout from the raids was immediate and far-reaching. P. Diddy, through his attorney, vehemently denied any wrongdoing calling the raids a gross overuse of military-level force. He maintained his innocence, stating that there was no excuse for the aggressive tactics employed by law enforcement. However, the public's perception of the rapper had been irrevocably altered, and questions lingered about the truth behind the allegations. Amidst the chaos, a man named Brendan Paul, described as P. Diddy's alleged drug mule, was arrested at a Miami airport. Federal agents claimed to have found contraband inside his personal travel bags, further complicating the narrative surrounding P. Diddy's involvement in illicit activities. The arrest added another layer of intrigue to an already sensational story, leaving the public hungry for answers. As the investigation continued, other famous figures began weighing in on the case. Rapper 50 Cent, known for his outspoken nature, expressed his disbelief and questioned whether P. Diddy was truly guilty of the allegations. Meanwhile, Uncle Luke, a prominent figure in the music industry, boldly stated that P. Diddy had messed with the wrong people, hinting at potential consequences for his actions. In the midst of the the scandal, Jay-Z's silence on the matter was deafening. Fans and critics alike were left wondering why he had not spoken out in support of his longtime friend or addressed the allegations head-on. Speculation ran rampant, with some suggesting that Jay-Z's silence could be interpreted as a sign of guilt or complicity. The future of P. Diddy and Jay-Z's friendship hung in the balance as the public eagerly awaited further developments in the case. Would Jay-Z be implicated in any way? Could their bond withstand the weight of these shocking allegations? These questions lingered in the minds of of fans and industry insiders alike, as the once unbreakable friendship faced its greatest test. In the midst of the scandal, P. Diddy's absence from the public eye was notable. While his attorney vehemently denied any wrongdoing on his behalf, the rapper himself remained silent, leaving fans and critics alike to speculate about his guilt or innocence. The fallout from the allegations had effectively put his career on hold, as he grappled with the legal and personal ramifications of the case. Jay-Z, on the other hand, found himself caught in the crossfire of the scandal. Despite not being directly implicated in the sex trafficking allegations, his close friendship with P. Diddy raised questions about his own involvement. The public demanded answers from Jay-Z, eager to hear his side of the story.
story and understand his perspective. However, the rapper's silence only fueled the speculation, leaving fans and industry insiders wondering about his complicity or lack thereof. The impact on Jay-Z's career was palpable. The scandal threatened to overshadow his musical achievements and tarnish his reputation. As one of the most influential figures in the industry, Jay-Z faced immense pressure to address the allegations and distance himself from P. Diddy's legal troubles. The once unbreakable bond between the two friends now seemed fragile, as the weight of the scandal threatened to tear them apart. Beyond their personal lives, the sex trafficking allegations had far-reaching consequences for their careers. Both P. Diddy and Jay-Z found themselves facing a public backlash, with fans and sponsors questioning their involvement in the alleged criminal activities. Endorsement deals were put on hold, and collaborations became increasingly scarce. The scandal had effectively halted their creative endeavors, leaving their once thriving careers in limbo. Curtis Jackson in the cutthroat arena of hip-hop, where egos clash and words cut deeper than knives, the feud between 50 Cent and P. Diddy stands out as a monumental battle between two giants of the industry. This was not just a spat between artists, it was a collision of empires, with each mogul wielding their influence like a weapon. The origins of the conflict trace back to accusations and barbs traded through the media. 50 Cent, known for his relentless approach to rivalry, took aim at P. Diddy over business dealings and the handling of the legacy of the late notorious B.I.G. The tension simmered as 50 Cent accused P. Diddy of exploiting Biggie's death for profit, a claim that sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community. As the feud intensified, 50 Cent released a series of tracks targeting P. Diddy. In his characteristic style, 50 Cent pulled no punches, calling out P. Diddy on his business practices and personal life. The tracks were explosive, filled with incendiary lyrics that fanned the flames of the feud. P. Diddy, for his part, responded with his own set of disses, although he often took a more subliminal approach, letting his success and status speak for itself. The public exchanges between these two powerhouses were more than just a war of words. They were a spectacle that had fans and the media on the edge of their seats. Each new development was dissected and debated, as the hip-hop world watched two of its most influential figures go head-to-head. -head. But the story of 50 Cent's feuds doesn't end with P. Diddy. His history of conflict with other rappers is a saga filled with drama and controversy. From his notorious clash with Rick Ross, which saw both rappers trading vicious diss tracks and personal attacks, to his ongoing ongoing tension with other figures in the industry, 50 Cent's feuds are a testament to his combative nature and his refusal to back down. These feuds, while damaging and divisive, also underscore the competitive spirit of hip-hop. They serve as a reminder of the high stakes in a world where reputation is everything and a single lyric can ignite a war. 50 Cent has had beef with not only P. Diddy in the industry, but with other close pals of P. Diddy such as Jay-Z. The feud between 50 Cent and Jay-Z dates back to 1999 when 50 Cent, then a rising star in the underground rap scene, released a diss track targeting Jay-Z titled How to Rob. In the track, 50 Cent humorously rapped about robbing various well-known artists, including Jay-Z, highlighting the stark differences between their respective positions in the industry. In a 2009 interview with Rolling Stone, 50 Cent accused Jay-Z and his record company Rockefeller of being unfair to Beanie Siegel because Jay-Z didn't have their interests in mind. He was just doing what he had to do for himself. The rapper also stated that, I don't know him personally. I tried to collaborate with him on the Freeway project. What I did was, Freeway went out and found his publishing deal, and we started the album. When it came time to put the record out, he didn't want to shoot his video. He has a god complex. 50 Cent also accused Jay-Z of changing in attitude and image since marrying Beyonce. In 2017, 50 Cent described Jay-Z's 13th studio album 444 as golf course music in an Instagram post, elaborating, I listened to Jay shit, that 444. It was too smart. I felt like I was supposed to be wearing like glasses and shit and like a tie, a f***ing sweater around my waist. It was like Ivy League. They don't want to hear that shit. They just want to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? You can't be the best rapper at 47 because the new n***s is here. They coming with new music going on. In an interview on The Conan Show, 50 Cent spoke about the album, saying, Hip-hop culture's connected to youth culture. The kid's gonna bring new innovative stuff. He just had the maturity bleed off into the material. But the kids, I don't see them actually listening to it. In an interview in 2022, 50 Cent reported that in a meeting between him and the couple in Los Angeles, the two rappers were having a heated argument. Beyonce, seeing them, jumped from a ledge to come to her husband's defense. 50 Cent compared the singer to her sister Solange when she 
hit Jay-Z in the elevator, describing them as two gangstas. In an interview for XXL Mag in 2023, 50 Cent claimed that Jay-Z's Grammy wins were due to his marriage to Beyonce. Even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16-17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce. And you go, prior to that he had one. That came with the association. 50 Cent also pointed out that the couple's eldest child, Blue Ivy Carter, won a Grammy even though she does not sing or rap, accusing award ceremonies of giving accolades to the couple just to ensure their attendance during the show. The rapper also reported that his non-win at the Grammys was due to his music being a little bit abrasive to conservatives. It didn't matter to me in that time period. Don't give me the trophy. They didn't give me Best New Artist, and I sold 13 million records. While the Carter Knowles family is more politically agreeable to the music industry. 50 Cent has also made mention of one occasion that took him by surprise, where Beyonce wanted to attack him for confronting her then boyfriend, now husband, Jay Z. So Beyonce <laughs> jumped down on you. She jumped out. Oh, she was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, oh, Come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out. She was like, duh, duh, duh. And I'm like, Wait, what is she doing? The rivalry between 50 Cent and Jay-Z is not just limited to their music. Both artists have ventured into various business ventures, further fueling the competition between them. Jay-Z, known for his successful Rock Nation empire, has made significant investments in industries such as sports management, streaming services, and fashion. Meanwhile, 50 Cent has built a diverse business portfolio, including investments in real estate, mining, and consumer electronics. Despite their differences, it is important to note that 50 Cent and Jay-Z have also found common ground throughout their career. Both artists have used their platforms to address social issues and advocate for change. They have also collaborated with other artists, demonstrating their ability to put aside their differences for the sake of music. The Carter Couple in the world of music, there are power couples. And then there is Jay-Z and Beyonce. They are the epitome of success, talent, and influence. From their humble beginnings to their rise to superstardom, this is the story of Jay-Z and Beyonce, the power couple that has taken the world by storm. Together, they have pioneered visual albums, created anthems that have become cultural touchstones, and amassed an impressive collection of Grammy Awards. Their impact extends beyond music, as they have become cultural icons and philanthropists. However, their journey has not been with Without challenges, including rumors of infidelity and public controversies. In the late 1990s, the music industry was about to witness the birth of a power couple that would redefine the meaning of success and influence. Beyonce, a young and talented singer, crossed paths with Jay-Z, a rising star in the rap industry. The exact date of their first meeting remains a mystery, but Beyonce provided some insight in a 2008 interview with Seventeen magazine. She revealed, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we first started dating. It was clear from the beginning that their connection was special. Their relationship didn't start with a whirlwind romance. Instead, it was built on a foundation of friendship. Beyonce shared with Oprah Winfrey that they were friends first for a year and a half before they even went on their first date. This friendship laid the groundwork for a deep and lasting bond that would withstand the test of time. In 2002, Jay-Z and Beyonce took their relationship to the next level by collaborating on their first musical project together. The song was titled 03 Bonnie and Clyde, and it showcased their undeniable chemistry both on and off the stage. The track became an instant hit, and fans couldn't get enough of their dynamic energy and undeniable talent. The following year, they dropped a bombshell on the music industry with their chart-topping hit, Crazy in Love. The infectious song became an anthem for couples everywhere and earned them a Grammy for Best R&B Song. The lyrics were a testament to their love and devotion to each other, with Beyonce singing, I've been playing myself, baby, I don't care, cause your love's got the best of me. It was clear to the world that they were more than just a couple. They were a force to be reckoned with. As their relationship blossomed, so did their individual careers. Beyonce continued to dominate the music scene with her powerful vocals and captivating performances. She became a pioneer in the industry, releasing visual albums like Lemonade that pushed the boundaries of creativity and storytelling. Meanwhile, Jay-Z solidified his status as a rap mogul, founding the successful entertainment agency Rock Nation and bringing the Nets to Brooklyn. His business ventures, combined with his other investments, made him the first hip-hop artist to make the billionaires list. But their success didn't come without its fair share of challenges. In 2014, a video surfaced of Beyonce's sister, Solange, seemingly attacking Jay-Z in an elevator. The incident sparked rumors of infidelity and marital problems, but the couple released a statement addressing the incident and emphasizing their commitment to each other and their family. They made it clear that they had worked through their issues and were stronger than ever. Throughout the years, Jay-Z and Beyonce have continued to dominate the music industry with their individual projects and joint collaborations. 
they have released numerous successful albums, embarked on joint tours, and even started their own record labels. Their influence extends far beyond music, as they have become cultural icons and philanthropists, using their platform to advocate for social justice and equality. Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship has not been without its fair share of challenges. Rumors of infidelity and marital problems have plagued the couple, but they have managed to overcome these obstacles and emerge stronger than ever. In 2014, the world was rocked when a video surfaced of Beyonce's sister, Solange, seemingly attacking Jay-Z in an elevator. Speculation ran wild, with many suggesting that the incident was a result of infidelity on Jay-Z's part. However, the couple quickly released a statement addressing the incident and emphasizing their commitment to each other and their family. They acknowledged their role in the private matter and expressed their love and unity as a family. It was a testament to their strength and determination to work through their issues. The following year, Beyonce released her groundbreaking visual album, Lemonade. The album delved into themes of betrayal, forgiveness, and empowerment, leading many to speculate that it was a reflection of her own experiences in her relationship with Jay-Z. The lyrics and imagery were raw and vulnerable, leaving fans and critics alike captivated by the emotional journey Beyonce took them on. It was a bold move for the couple to address their personal struggles so openly in their art, but it ultimately became a turning point in their relationship. The New York Times Style magazine, Jay-Z opened up about the difficulties in their marriage and how they used their music to heal. He admitted, We were using our art almost like a therapy session, and we started making music together. Their joint album, Everything is Love, was the culmination of this process and a testament to their commitment to each other. Released in 2018, Everything is Love showcased the couple's renewed love and unity. The album was a celebration of their journey and a declaration of their strength as a couple. It was a powerful statement that they they had overcome their challenges and were ready to move forward together. The album received critical acclaim and further solidified their status as a power couple in the music industry. Jay-Z and Beyonce's ability to confront their issues head-on and use their art as a means of healing and growth is a testament to their resilience and commitment to each other. They have shown the world that even in the face of adversity, love and forgiveness can prevail. Their journey is a reminder that relationships require work and dedication, especially in the public eye. Jay-Z and Beyonce have managed to navigate the challenges of fame and maintain a strong bond, proving that their love is unbreakable. For more interesting videos, please click on any of the cards displayed on your screen.